So I use a MacBook Pro, a Dell XPS, and recently added an iPad Pro to this mix. And because I have used all three and all of them running on different operating systems with different levels of performance, I think I can give you a pretty clear unbiased opinion of what I think is a better device for you depending on what you need it for. Firstly, if you've always used the MacBook Air or the MacBook Pro, naturally your next choice inclines towards getting your next MacBook Pro or even the iPad Pro. Now let me make something very clear. If your laptop usage is pretty much limited to web browsing, watching movies, or other entertainment use, and at the most, Microsoft Office. I think you're better off getting the iPad Pro with the Magic Keyboard rather than a MacBook, simply because you also get the added flexibility of, you know, a touch screen, using it as a tablet, and you get a much better battery life as well. And, you know, the sound on the iPad Pro is amazing. I mean, it's richer, it's got more volume, it's clearer. The entertainment experience is much better, plus, the screen is crazy bright. It maxes out, it peaks at 1600 nits on the iPad Pro 12.9 inch. So I think there are quite a few benefits only if your use is limited and then you can get the iPad Pro. But if you're going to use your laptop for professional work and specialized software that does not even exist for the iPad OS at the moment, you're not going to be able to use the uh, iPad Pro for that kind of work. And then you're going to have to stick with Mac OS that only comes with MacBook Pro or the MacBook Air. Now I use a 2018 MacBook that comes with Intel CPUs, which are not as fast as the new MacBook Pros and the MacBook Air that come with the M1 chip. They're very fast, they're really high on performance, and they have amazing battery life. So if you're getting yourself the new M1 MacBook Pro or the MacBook Air, you're definitely getting an upgrade. But if you currently own a Windows laptop and you're looking for a new laptop now, you're in big trouble because you can swing in any direction. Should you get a MacBook? Should you get the iPad Pro? Should you get a Chromebook? Or should you choose from thousands of available Windows-based laptops that are options in the market today? So let me make it very easy for you. The first thing you gotta ask yourself is, what are you gonna do with your laptop? What do you really need it for? Again, if it's just web browsing, streaming videos, and you're comfortable using cloud version of Microsoft Office or Google Docs, then you can just get yourself a Chromebook if you're on a tight budget. But if budget is not a constraint, go for the iPad Pro. I mean, with the Magic Keyboard, of course. And that way, you get to enjoy, you know, the rich app library that you get with the iPad OS. You get really top-notch experience for that price. I mean, whether it's viewing experience, whether it's audio experience, uh, and you know, it's a touch screen, plus you get that whole tablet flexibility. But again, all of this makes sense only if your laptop use is very generic and very common. But what if you need special software for your work, let's say? Then iPad OS or the Chromebook may not be useful because you know, the software is not gonna be able to install itself on those devices. So you're gonna have to think about what software you need. Is it available on Windows or on MacBook or on both? and what kind of specifications or configuration is required for it to work pretty well on that machine. So you think about all of those things and then you decide whether you need a MacBook or a Windows and to what specifications. Now, if you're already using Windows and you're comfortable with it and you're able to work properly and nicely and no issues, then just getting a new, more recent Windows laptop will automatically give you a better experience, better performance, because it's still Windows, but on a laptop that's more recent and updated. I used a Dell XPS 9300, which I think is my favorite pick. It's small, super lightweight, incredibly thin, very high quality, bright screen, touch enabled, and it's powered by Core i7. So it's a pretty capable laptop, but then of course it's an expensive laptop. And just because the XPS 9300 works for me, doesn't mean it's a good fit for you. So the trick really is in figuring out what kind of laptop with what configuration will work best for the kind of work you have. And that's a whole another video and I've done that for you. So you could go to that video, check it out. It's in the top right corner. I'll link it. It's gonna be in the description as well. Now, if you're a Windows user and you're thinking about getting yourself a MacBook Air or the MacBook Pro this time, there are a few things that you just need to keep in mind. Number one, whatever professional software or special software you use, make sure it's available for Mac OS and whatever features you use in that software, they all work on Mac OS. There's also a bit of a learning curve involved when you're moving from Windows to Mac OS. Controls are a bit different, you know, multitasking is not as smooth or easy on Mac OS as it is on Windows. And if you're someone who juggles constantly between different apps or different windows, you might find it a bit annoying at first. 
MacBooks are definitely more expensive than a lot of Windows laptops, but then again, they do offer much better performance and definitely much better build quality for the price they come at. MacBook warranties are very expensive, especially after that one year. And if your warranty expires and something was to go wrong, getting it fixed, those repairs cost a lot. So just be prepared mentally that, you know, the after sales or just maintaining that laptop is gonna be, or a MacBook is gonna be much more expensive. And very honestly, guys, there's no flat comparison of performance and design or build quality between a MacBook and a Windows. Like you just cannot directly compare it without context. MacBooks, as we all know, comes in this metallic chassis, which feels very premium and materials are indeed of very high quality, but it's metal and tends to get very cold in low temperatures and can feel very hot when your MacBook is under performance stress. But Windows machines, they come in kinds of materials and textures and form factors. You can get pretty much any kind of look you want, depending on how much money you want to spend. And same thing holds true for performance. I mean, if you spend as much as you would on a MacBook, you can get a really high performance Windows machine as well. And yeah, that's pretty much it guys. You know, the whole objective of this video was to help people like you looking for your next laptop understand whether you should get yourself a MacBook or Windows, an iPad Pro or a Chromebook, right? Uh, and it, as I said, it all depends on your use, your past experience and your budget, right? So these three things help you determine what your next laptop should be and that, that that's what this video was about. Anyway, I hope this was really helpful. If you guys have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comment section below. And as always guys, if you've thoroughly enjoyed this video, make sure you drop a like, hit the subscribe button and that bell icon. I'll see you guys in the next one.